Hey guys, what's up? Bicyclotron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and in this one, I'm uh, showing you guys a few Town Hall 10 3 stars. I had someone ask for more of these, um, more Town Hall 10 action, and I also, because there's been a shift in the game as far as uh, what's possible at the high levels, so I want to show this video also because of that. Um, so one of the new strategies we've been seeing is uh, Mass Witch, which is basically just um, you can call it Hocus Pocus too, that's another name for it, but just usually about 8 to 12 witches, uh, 2 or 3 golems, just a big go wee wee, uh, a, few wit a few wizards obviously, um, and just making their way through the base, and it's become possible now, especially at Town Hall 11, um, because of the Grand Warden, the witches are very flimsy, so the Grand Warden basically uh, lets... Uh, the witches have a little more hit points, and then also level 3 witches at Town Hall 11. It uh, makes it a very good option for Town Hall 11 if you're trying to 2-star other 11s or 3-star Town Hall 10s. In Town Hall 10s, even though they only have level 2 witches and no uh, Grand Warden, they're also starting to uh, use this strategy with max witches in their CC. And it's been working pretty well, especially against little, little lower level Town Hall 10s, not quite maxed out like this one. Um, so taking a look at the attack Chaos did... Um, very nice attack. This is, you know, a Town Hall, mostly Town Hall 9 defenses, a few Town Hall 8-ish. So not not the most upgraded defenses, but has a level 3 Inferno, um, 1 level 2, and his hero levels actually aren't that bad. So um, not an easy base of 3-star still, especially because the Infernos. Um, he's actually doing a bit of a queen walk on this one, and that's also a great option to, to uh, implement because the queen can take out some uh, splash damage, which often uh, is a big threat to your witches. So anyway, the queen walk on the left side, and then just the main attack squad on the uh, top right. Bringing those witches, just dropping them in there. Um, quite a few witches, I think about nine total, if you count the ones in the clan castle, then the king. Um, they're going to bust that lava hound, but uh, the pups aren't going to do a lot of damage. They'll go down quickly. And you can see the queen's kind of clearing out a path. Took out a few splash damage, um, just letting the witches not have to worry about being flanked. Um, everything's in front of them, and the skeletons are going to tank for that. Golem's taking as well, and then uh, a good freeze in the Inferno, and what that allows is it allows the skeletons to get out in front, so the witches aren't going to be targeted by the Inferno. Um, and at, at this level, with some level 3 witches and a bunch of level 2 witches, plus the king, his ability, that brings out more barbarians, there's just so much there that the multi-Inferno uh, can't get locked onto those witches quick enough, so uh, it goes down, doesn't take out very many witches, and uh, as you can see, a big clump at the top there. Especially with those uh, rage skeletons, they move very fast, so they get out in front of the witches and tank for them. So, uh, this base only had one multi inferno, which makes it a little bit easier, and the single inferno went down very quickly. Still has quite a few troops up, some wizards, a uh, few minions already starting cleanup, and then that queen's at full health, which always helps. Um, kind of a little nice bonus to have her walking around the outside taking out um, some defenses, because splash damage is a threat, obviously, giant bombs. Um, and then the other threat is basically your witches getting flanked, which means they get out uh, and don't take out the sides. So as they move into the base, they're getting shot at from kind of behind into the side. So uh, the skeletons are no longer out in front of them and the witches get shot down. So you want to make sure that whether it's with a queen walk or just creating a wide funnel, uh, your witches, the only defenses are the ones straight in front of them, just so you don't have to worry about them getting picked off one by one. Um, and obviously splash damage, giant bombs, multi-infernos, those are all threats as well. Uh, but Chaos does a nice job dealing with all of that, getting the three stars, so nice job, um, Chaos. We're going to go ahead and take a look at one more with a um, little bit of a higher Town Hall uh, 10 defense-wise, but obviously the infernos are only level 1, so kind of trade-offs here. You, I mean, you can try this on max Town Hall 10s, but um, it's hard for a max or for a Town Hall 10 to 3-star a max Town Hall 10 with the strategy. Um, when I see some Town Hall 11 3-stars, I'll be sure to show those. Uh, you can see on Chief Pat's channel and stuff. Because uh, ba basically, at Town Hall 11, the Grand Warden allows for, uh, like I said, the Witches. Because they have very few hit points. They're like the same as a Wizard. Maybe not even quite that much. So, only a few uh, shots from the defense will take them down. Uh, but with the, uh, the Grand Warden, he boosts their hit points. Hit points was a great help. And also, um, his uh, ability makes it so that all the troops are invincible in his radius. So uh, that, like, three-second invincibility 
uh, helps the troops out a lot because the skeletons won't die. The witches can spawn skeletons, which aren't going to die. Uh, just everything moves forward. So if a giant bomb is about to go off, tap that ability and it, it protects everything from it. So uh, definitely an OP strategy, especially with the level 3 witches at Town Hall uh, 11. But for Town Hall 10, you can see it works out very nicely here. It just kind of marches into the middle of this base. And look at all these witches he still has up after the Infernos are down. Um, just amazing. Great spread in the troops, too. You can see the Golem and the Queen are kind of making their way on the right side. The witches are all in the core. And then has some giants and a, another witch up top with a wizard. So just awesome spread. That's what you want to see. You typically want a big group of witches in the middle. And then a few different uh, little squads on the outside taking things out. But um, just didn't hit any trouble here. I mean, if you can count how many witches he has. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, it looks like about seven or eight, maybe even nine witches. Just insane. Um, not many troops died. Just crushed this base. Um, awesome job to Pen Dragon. Taking out another Town Hall 10. But like I said, these are the kind of three stars you can get now. Obviously, Go La Luna is still the main three star strategy. Um, but witches are becoming more, a very good option, especially if you can plan out the attack nicely and uh, keep those witches alive. So that's all I'm going to show for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed some Town Hall 10 action. Um, I'll try to include some more Town Hall 10s in the uh, Clan War recaps that I show. But until then, um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and drop a like if you did, as well as a comment if there's anything you want me to know. But that'll do it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.